What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Scott here with another Is It Worth It video all about the long-awaited Attack Dog perk. Just before I jump into that, I do want you to all go over to Kato Genesis's channel and that is because we did a collaboration with him. We help him out on his Scav Squad series where he goes through Quincy Ruins in this episode, finding all the goodies and bits and pieces there are to find. So get over there and subscribe and give the video some support, he's a really great guy and I really want you guys to help him out. There will be links in the description or you can click the annotations. Anyways, back to the perk. Now, Attack Dog requires Charisma 4, and at the first rank, your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in vats. At rank 2, when your dog holds an enemy, there'll be a chance he'll cripple the limb he's biting, and at rank 3, when your dog holds an enemy, there's a chance he'll cause them to bleed. Now, in a nice, quick review, I really don't think it's that worth it, and not because of the perk so much itself, but dog meat really isn't even that worth it. Basically, the only reason I could ever endorse this perk is specifically if you're going to use dog meat for the entirety of the game or a lot, or he's just like, you know, your trusty friend and you want the perks for him to maximize his ability. Like, we did it for the shotgun surgeon because he had a trusty dog companion that he used the whole time, so we did want to take advantage of him and sort of max him out. But, unfortunately, dog meat maxed out with all these perks still really isn't as good as basically just a normal companion with a decent weapon. He works pretty well early on and the holding an enemy is pretty cool and, and the crippling and bleeding is nice, but three points could get you to Rifleman 5 if you're already at like Rifleman 2 and, and that makes your rifles ignore 30% of armor and plus gives you double rifle damage. It's just so much better. There are just so many better ways that you can spend these perk points. I mean, you could even put it in things like even Aqua Boy, like some of the less useful perks would still be more useful than Attack Dog overall. Maybe I also have a little bit of bias since every time I've sort of used dog meat, especially when I first played Fallout 4, he was nothing but a nuisance and just got in my way and pushed me off things and it, it was a bit of a frustrating because he ran around a lot, but he's also pretty decent for the duplication glitch. But besides that, dog meat really isn't my favorite companion at all because he doesn't really have anything to add because as far as I'm concerned, companions combat wise are pretty lackluster all of them, unless you give them a really sort of OP weapon. So the only reason I have companions around is to really provide extra conversation and, you know, just because I like the companion themselves, their character. But for me, Attack Dog basically has no character. He's not like, you know, Rex in Fallout New Vegas. He doesn't have that sort of interesting element to him. He's just a German Shepherd that you find in a red rocket. But besides that, it's all up to you. Of course, Attack Dog makes him better, but my problem is that this perk isn't necessary because I don't think it's worth making dog meat better because he's not a fantastic companion to begin with. But if you really, really want to use dog meat because you like dogs and you want to have him around with you all the time, then I'd say, yeah, get Attack Dog because you may as well max him out. But I wouldn't prioritize Attack Dog over other things, unless it's for like a role-playing reason, like our shotgun surgeon had our trusty dog companion. And I will say when he does hold an enemy, it's really cool when you blast them away with a shotgun as they're getting their leg ripped off by your pet dog. The perk does have its moments, but overall those three perk points could be invested in many other more useful places. So that's my opinion on the attack dog perk. I'm Scott from Fudge Muppet, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Snapchat, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and also remember to go check out Kato Genesis and the video that we did with him on Quincy. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, that's all from me. I will see you next time with another Fallout 4 video.